All right, I'm back with another video. I got the Sumperfugium all hooked up. So now I'm ready to add water to the tank. So this video is gonna be about RODI systems and how to use them. This particular model is the Spectra Pure Max Cap 90 gallon per day. So that's the installation steps I'm gonna follow, but I'm sure they're all pretty similar, so you can probably learn something, even if you don't have this model. So the first thing we're gonna do is uh, rinse up of the whole system and the first step is to remove the max cap filter and the silica buster filter and then reinstall the empty cartridges and I'm going to do that just by using this that came with it. Alright we're up here in my bathroom because the nozzle on my kitchen sink won't come off so I had to use the upstairs one Basically you just are going to unscrew the nozzle on the sink and put one of these garden hose adapters on. I just got this from Home Depot. Now we're going to take the black line, which is the in line, and attach it to the sink here. We're going to put both the blue and the yellow into a drain, so I just have them draining the tub. And slowly turn on the cold water and don't have anything higher than 75 PSI. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now I'm going to let the system run for 20, 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, the system's run for 20 minutes. I'm going to real quick install the TDS meters onto the front of the system and it just comes with Velcro on the back. And then I'm going to plug them in and it doesn't really matter which one you plug it in. I got both TDS meters installed and the next step is to remove the max cap canister and put the filter back in there. Turn it on and let it run for two to five minutes, then turn on the TDS meters. Um, all right, now you're supposed to let it run until the out meter says zero, and it mine's at three right now. Okay, my TDS meter is reading zero. So I'm going to take off the last canister and put the silica buster filter in. Okay, I put the silica buster filter in. I'm going to turn water back on. I'm going to set the right side TDS meter to out now. And wait until it reads zeros. Alright, I've got zeros now on the right TDS meter. So now we're going to go and we're going to test the concentration of the water. The first thing we do to check the concentration is to let the system run for five minutes. All right, and then take some sort of container and you let the water from the, the wastewater line, which is a yellow, run in here for a minute. Save the water and find out how much there is. And you do the exact same thing for the blue. And then there's like a an equation, but we'll get to that. Alright, so <clears throat> what you do to get your wastewater to product water ratio is you first take the amounts of your wastewater, amounts of your product water. I had them in cups because that's the only kind of measuring thing I had. So I had a half a cup of a product water and one and three eighths cup of wastewater. So I converted those to decimals which became 1.375 and 0.5. And then I brought them down. I don't know if you're familiar with conversion factors but you can just do a simple conversion factor to make it milliliters. So you put your given which is 1.37 cups and under here you put one cup equals 2.5 sorry two, 236 milliliters so 1.375 times 236 
equals 324.5 milliliters. And then you do the same for uh, your product water. All right, then you bring them down. You divide your wastewater by your product, and you get 2.75. And then you bring that down. So 2.75 to 1 is my ratio for wastewater to product water. And of course, that's not good because it's supposed to be between three, three to one and six to one. So now I'm gonna have to take out the uh, flow regulator and cut it down. So I'll show you how to do that next. All right, so what I got here is the little fitting that was on the membrane on top of the RDI system and the wastewater line here. And you can see there's like a little black that's the flow resistor, restrictor, sorry. And I'm gonna pull it out now. All right, so that's the flow restrictor. And I'm gonna cut it down now. That's all gonna depend on what your ratio was. And there's a chart in the manual. You can figure it out. Okay, so I put the flow restrictor back in the wastewater line and reinstalled it on the system here and recalculated the ratio and now I'm good. I'm within the 3 to 1 and 6 to 1. So now I'm going to try to run this line all the way to the tank so I don't have to carry buckets of water all day. Okay, so I got everything hooked up now. I got my inlet line on the sink, my wastewater line going into the tub, and I got my product line coming down, and I got a little connector here. From Home Depot um, and it goes up over my bed through my beer collection comes down over the kitchen and to my tank and what I did before I put the water in the tank is I clean the tank out with a clean damp rag as best I could and another good thing to do right now is make sure your tanks exactly where you want it because it's going to be really heavy if you try to move it and uh, make sure it's level that's just my iPhone up there I don't know how accurate they are but that's all I had so it looks pretty close and that's it thanks for watching